Okay, I'm now inside the Connard home, which is inside the door. As I turn to the right, we have three bedrooms in our hallway. First bedroom, as you can see, they're all good sized bedrooms. This one has a queen size bed, it appears. Double closet. Great view of the backyard. Head back down the hall. To our left is one full bathroom. The tub and shower. Single vanity. All new tile flooring, wall covering. Second doorway is the second bedroom that they use as an office. Again, a good sized bedroom. Has a single closet. Third bedroom at the end of the hall. Single closet, again, plenty of space for a full or queen size bed. Back out of the hall, we enter into the open living room. And they've just added a new gas fireplace in place of a pellet stove that was here before. You see, it really does a good job. They have ceiling fans in most of the rooms just to help move the air. They have nice vaulted ceilings. More spacious feel that way. Towards the back of the room where we would access the deck in the backyard. And this is just off the dining room. It's a formal dining room. Dining room, it's the master bedroom, of course the biggest bedroom in the house. And it has a gorgeous bathroom on this master suite. All tile floors, tile wall covering halfway up, a large linen closet. Jacuzzi tub. A nice oversized vanity with mirror. It's off the master bedroom. Okay, as we walk back out, we'll head back through the dining room. And this will take us into the kitchen. As you can see, the kitchen has lots of cabinetry. Every corner, both upper and lower. New tile backsplash added just within the last year. The appliances are negotiable with the property. Into the kitchen. What I like about the setup of this kitchen is while you're at the sink, you can see whoever drives in. Because you are secluded enough back here if somebody's driving in, they might be lost. Okay, we're going to head around the corner of the kitchen into the utility room. To have the motion light that'll come on any minute. Again, nice cabinetry. Plenty of space for your washer and dryer. And a nice oversized door that lead you into the two-car garage. It's attached. Okay, we head down to a full finished basement. And at the bottom of the basement, the basement stairs here, is the main breaker box, which services the entire home. Around the corner, you'll see they've added a little kitchenette area. All that's missing right now is just a couple cabinets and a sink. It does have 220 for this stove and of course the refrigerator is hooked up. 
as you can see it's a gorgeous rec room family room with extra bedrooms down here this first room to our left Jane uses as a sewing room got extra storage nice closet plenty of room for any size bed you'd ever need in that room or a couple beds Next room over is a furnace room, an extra storage. As you can see, this house has all poured concrete foundation, water heater, water softener system, pump for the well right inside, so all you have to do is flip the switch if needed, gas furnace. Propane. There's an extra wall mount gas heater in case the power goes out and you need some supplemental heat that's tied into the propane. So that'll keep you warm for a long period of time if needed. There's also a full bath down here with all tile flooring and it joins the third bedroom in the basement. It too has a shower and tub. Item. And it joins Of this bedroom at the end of the basement here is a big family room, TV room, lots of built in shelving with overhead lighting. Now, as you can see, these walls not only do you have the poured concrete foundation, but within the inside of that foundation, he added the two by four stud walls with insulation and sheetrock. You can see how thick this windowsill is to show you. It's got the vapor wrap as well. So you've got all that extra insulation to keep it good and tight. It's always nice and cool down here. It feels good. Around the corner, again, they made use of every nook and cranny. This room is under the front porch area of the house. This is a storm shelter because they've enclosed it with poured concrete. Top, side, and bottom. Nice walk-in storm shelter. Lots of storage too. You can see there's extra closet area, another closet for storage under the stairway. The ceiling has extra brackets made for aesthetic appeal. He added those himself, as well as the vents in the ceiling for heat and air. And also in this area, you have access above this ceiling panel to the tub, in case you need to get to that jacuzzi tub for any reason for maintenance. The kitchen area has tile floors, you can see. Jeanette. And again, with the walkout door at the end of the basement.